Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve assessment problem 5.1. So there is two questions here. Assume that the op M in the circuit shown is ideal and calculate V0 for some values and then specify the range of Vs required to avoid amplifier saturation. Okay, maybe let's calculate the relationship between V0 and Vs. Okay. Let's see our note here about an op amp. So if we have an op amp here, we have some things to consider. So if this is the plus and minus, and this is A and B, so the voltage between A and B will be the same. So that will be VA is equal to VB. And the current that goes inside to the op amp, so let's name this as IA and let's name this current as IB. IA is equal to AB, but both of them is equal to zero. That is an ideal op amp. Okay, this is the two things that we need to consider. Okay, and then. There is two value here. We have 15 volt and minus 15 volt. This means that the value of V0 is between those values. So it has to be between minus 15. And then it has to be less than 15. So this is the third one here. Okay, maybe let's name this node here as node A, and we can do KCL at this node, right? And because this is the ground, this is Vs from the ground, Vs. And then this is the ground, so the voltage here is equal to zero. But then here it's connected to the op amp, and that means that Va is equal to zero. Because this terminal is the same voltage as this terminal. So we will have Va is equal to zero. Okay. And now let's assume the direction of the current here. Maybe let's do green here. Let's assume that it's going to the right. Let's assume this also going to the right. And this is goes inside to the op amp. We can do KCL at the node Va. So let's do exactly that, KCL at node VA. Remember, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, now we will have this current goes in. So we will have Vs minus VA, but VA is zero. But then we will have that 10 kilo ohm, so we'll have 10 there. And then this will equal to the current that goes out. This one is equal to zero because of this goes into the op amp. So I don't need to write it. And this one here, we will have Va, which is zero, minus this one here is V0. So I have V0, and that will be divided by 40. Okay, so now let's solve this. We will have Vs over 10 is equal to minus V0 divided by 40. Okay, we need to find out V0, right? So we will have V0 that will be minus 40 divided by 10 multiplied by Vs or V0 is equal to minus 4 Vs. However, there is also a limitation here that V0 is, has to be minus 15, between minus 15 and 15 here, okay? So now let's, let's copy this and this into previous slide and let's see what we get. Okay, from the previous calculation, we get these two things. V0 is equal to minus 4 Vs, but V0 has to be in this range here, between minus 15 to 15 volt. 
Okay, now let's calculate the V0 for the following value of Vs, okay? Let's see, Vs is equal to minus 6 volt. Okay, and therefore V0 is minus 4 Vs. That should be minus 6 multiplied by minus 20, minus 4. So that should be 24 volt. However, 20 volt is greater than 15. So we will have V0 is the maximum value of it. So the answer is 15 volt. So if it exceeds the maximum, the answer will be the maximum voltage. Okay, let's do another value here. So we'll have minus 3.5 volt. Okay, and so that will be V0 multiplied by 4. 3.5 multiplied by 4, that will be 14 volt. Okay, 14 volt is still in the range, so this is the answer. Yeah. So that 14 is still in this range, right? And now let's do another value, minus, minus 1.25 volt. So we will have V0 is equal to minus 1.25 multiplied by minus 4. That will be 5 volt. And that is still inside the range, so this is the answer. Okay, now... Let's do 1 volt. So we'll have Vs is equal to 1 volt. Therefore, V0 is minus 4 multiplied by 1. That should be minus 4 volt. And that is the answer here. Okay, there is there are two more values. Let's calculate that. So what is the Vs next? Vs is 2.44 okay therefore v0 is minus 4 multiplied by this that will be minus 9.6 volt and this is still inside the range so this is the answer and then vs is 5.44 okay and for this the v0 will be Minus, minus 10.8 multiplied by 2 minus 21.6, I think. Yeah, minus 21.6 volt. But it is outside this range, so we take the minimum value of this one. So we will have V0 is equal to minus 15 volt. So the last one is minus 15 volt. Okay, and I think we have answered the question A here. So question A done. Okay, now let's do question B. Specify the range of Vs to require to avoid amplifier saturation. Okay, let's get back into our calculation here. Remember that is the range here minus 15 is less than V0 and less than 15. Okay, however, V0 is minus 4 Vs, so we'll have minus 15 is equal to minus 4 Vs, and then that will be 15. Okay, we need Vs in the center here, so we divided it by minus 4. Remember, if we divide it by a negative number, the sign will be need to be flipped. Okay, so I will have minus 15 divided by 4. That will be minus, I think that will be 3.75. And this one will be minus 3.75. This is point B. And so we will have minus 3.75. 75 is less than Vs and less than 3.75. So this is the answer for question B. So we have answered both questions. And that's all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.